Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that Cognizant interviews have started. So here I am with the Cognizant Gen C today's technical interview experience. Okay. So in this particular video, I will be discussing all the questions which were asked in today's Gen C Cognizant Gen C interview experience. Okay. And guys, also in the later part of the video, I will also be telling you that from where you can download the notes for important IT subjects and you can prepare for your interviews if you have not started your preparation till now. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end because lot more videos regarding Cognizant or any other company's interview experience or hiring process you will be getting on this particular channel. So make sure to before moving ahead do hit that like and subscribe button and do join this telegram group. This telegram group is dedicated for 2025 batch students. Okay, so currently Capgemini, TCS, Cognizant interviews are going on. Okay, so every interview experience I will be posting on this particular group only. Okay, and on this YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe this YouTube channel and also make sure to join this Telegram group. Telegram group. Okay, so guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, do hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, so this Gen C interview experience happened today only. That is on 11th October 2024. The duration of the interview was 25 minutes. The branch of the uh, student was CSC. So the first question was self introduction. So as you all know, for every company, whether it is Cognizant, TCS, Infosys, for every company, self introduction is very much important. You can include your uh, education background, your skills, your projects, your extracurricular activities, as well as your achievements or any research paper that you have written. All these things in which you are confident in, you can include in this particular answer. Okay, because this will give a interviewer fair bit of idea that what type of questions to ask from you. This is a very important question as per the interview is concerned. Okay, moving to the next question it was a coding question was asked wherein a print duplicate element in an array. Okay. So what interview will do, he will ask you to share your screen, okay, and just write the code, okay. He can write in, uh, you can write in the uh, chat section or you can write in the, uh, any editor if you prefer, okay. Print duplicate elements in an array, okay. So if you want to know, so you can uh, just take a screenshot of it. Next is what are different types of joins in SQL. So there are four types of joins, left, uh, sorry, inner join. Full outer join, left outer join, right outer join. Okay, so the explanation if you want, so I can, uh, uh, I will not be giving the explanation here because the video will become too long. Okay, so next is explain normalization and all form. So all, there are total four types of normalizations, 1NF, 2NF, 3NF and BCNF. Okay, so these are the four types of normalization that are present in DBMS. Okay, and guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know about the notes. Okay, as I've told you, that if you will prepare from these notes, okay, the chance, the questions and answers you will get for different different subjects. So on our top mid page, we have important interview IT subject notes. Okay, so in these particular notes, total twelve subjects we have covered. That is C plus plus, uh, oops, questions, Java related questions, Python questions, DBMS questions and answer. Okay, so for every subjects, we have at least twenty to twenty five questions. So when once you will buy these notes, you will get total 12 PDFs covering all these subjects respectively. And for all these subjects, questions and answers are there for most importantly and most commonly asked questions. Okay. So for every subject, at least 20 to 25 question and answers are there that how you have to uh, answer in the interview. Okay. So uh, if you find this particular, uh, particular notes interesting, if you have not started your preparation or you want to revise your concepts, if you want to do last minute preparation, then these particular notes will be handy for you. And these are at a very nominal price of rupees 99, wherein all the questions, important questions related to every subject we have given here at one place. If you are interested, the link you can find in the description box or in the pinned comment section. Okay. So it's, it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99. All these questions that I've discussed till now or I will be discussing future in this video, all these questions and answers are already present in these notes. So um, see generally every company are, every company is asking common and important questions only. So we have all covered it here. So if you are preparing for any of these companies, then these notes will be valid for you. Okay. So moving ahead, explain difference between primary key and foreign key. So primary key, it must contain unique values. Foreign key, it can contain duplicate values. Okay, foreign key is between two tables, primary key is between single table. Primary key can, can cannot contain null values, whereas foreign key can contain null values. Okay, I hope it is clear to you. 
नेक्स्ट इज एक्सप्लेन योर प्रोजेक्ट अगेन द सेकेंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ योर इंटरव्यू विल भी एक्सप्लेन योर प्रोजेक्ट एंड वंस यू आर एक्सप्लेनिंग योर प्रोजेक्ट यू शुड नो द बेसिक टेक्नोलॉजीज दैट आर यूजिंग योर प्रोजेक्ट सो हाउ टू एक्सप्लेन योर प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव मेड अ डेडिकेटेड वीडियो फॉर इट आई विल गिव यू द लिंक इन द आई बटन और इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड इफ यू आर मेकिंग प्रोजेक्ट ऑन एनी टेक्नोलॉजी वेदर इट इज जावा मशीन लर्निंग एंड्रॉइड यू शुड नो हैव द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दैट टेक्नोलॉजी बिकॉज क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्क फ्रॉम दैट ओके I hope it is clear to you. Next is explain four pillars of OOPs: abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism. These are the four pillars of OOPs, and it is a very important question. Ten out of ten interviews, this question will be asked. Okay, so I hope it is clear to you. Just a second. Yeah. <clears throat> so moving ahead, next question is difference between method overloading and method overriding. So simple difference is that method overloading happens in a single class, whereas method overriding happens in two classes when inheritance is taking place. Okay. so overloading is a part of compile time polymorphism and overriding is part of run time polymorphism okay so i hope this question is clear to you okay and again i am telling you all these questions that i am discussing that were asked in this interview are already present in these particular notes okay chances are that questions get repeat through these notes only and through these videos only so make sure that if you are interested and if you are preparing for your interviews and you have come in coming weeks so these notes can be handy for you links you will find in the description box okay moving ahead explain the meaning of public static void main in java so public means that a function is public it can be accessed from anywhere static means that only one instance of this function will be made okay with the it can be called with the name of help of the class name void means that there is no return type of this function then main means and it main is the main method okay so i hope this is the <coughs> this definition is clear to you next is difference between final finally and finalize it's very simple so final is a keyword and access modifier which is used to apply restrictions on a class method and variable so if a class is final it cannot be inherited if a method is final it cannot be overridden if a variable is final its value cannot be changed finally is the block in exception handling which run after try or catch so whether exception occurs or whether exception do not occurs finally block will always run in the exception handling scenarios next is finalize so finalize is the method in java which is used to perform clean up processing okay clean up activity it is used to do i hope this question is clear to you next is basic questions on web technology by web basic questions on web technology was asked because the project was based on web technology okay so spring boot web server project was there so question related to web technology will be asked from you if you have projects on such technologies so do prepare them very well i hope it is clear to you Next is explain exception exception handling. So there are three blocks: try, catch, and finally. So you can explain it on your own. Okay, I hope it's clear to you. Explain enums. So enums are in Java, and again, it's one of the data one type of data types that are present. Next last question of this particular interview was why you want to join Cognizant. So whenever you are giving any interviews for any company, the question will be why you want to join this X Y Z company. The answer remains same for all the companies. You can like. Tell the technologies, the recent actions that that company is doing in the area of in, a, your area of interest, how it aligns with Cognizant. So all these type of things you can tell to the interviewer, and he will be happy to answer it. So I hope all these questions that I have discussed for this Gen C role are clear to you. If you want more such interview experiences, do write in the comment section that yes, we want more such interviews. And guys, do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel, and do join this Telegram group because this is a dedicated Telegram group for 2025 batch students. The link of the Telegram group you will find in the i but uh, or in the description box as well as the pinned comment. And again, if you are preparing and if you want to like fast, if you do not know from where to prepare, you can refer these notes. Most of the questions are well, it contains all the commonly asked questions and important questions for the interview. Okay, for all these twelve subjects. So if you are interested, want to do last minute preparations, or or you want to revise your concepts, then these notes can be handy for you, and they are at a very nominal price of rupees ninety nine. all the relevant links you will find in the description box do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel okay and do share this video among your friends thank you for watching this video